My dear respected brothers and elders, mothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, trust me, he gave us a beautiful prophet. He gave us a prophet that loved us. He gave us a prophet that cared for us. He gave us a prophet that worried for us. He gave us a prophet that never forgot us. He gave us a prophet which stood on the musalla every single day and every single night and his only concern was my ummah, my ummah, my ummah, my ummah. For this reason, my dear respected brothers and elders and mothers and sisters, we have a duty to send salutations and durood upon Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he would stand on the musalla at night time and he would say to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, I don't say what Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam said. What did Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam say? Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam said about his nation, فَمَنْ تَبِعَنِي فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي وَمَنْ أَصَانِي فَإِنَّكَ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ That Ya Allah, those people that follow me, they are from me and they are from my people and they are the believers and they believe in you. And Ya Allah, those people that go against me, they go against you. Now it's up to you, فَإِنَّكَ غَفُورٌ rahim. You want to forgive them or you want to punish them, then that's totally up to you. And he says, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say after this, I don't say what Isa alayhi salatu wa salam said. What did Isa alayhi salatu wa salam say about his nation? In to azibhum fa innahum ibaduk. If you punish them, fa innahum ibaduk, they are your servants. Wa in taghfir lahum, O Allah. If you forgive them, fa innaka anta al-azizul hakim. You are the most exalted in power and you are the wise. So he says, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say, that I don't say what Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam said and I don't say what Isa alayhi salatu was salam say, said I'm saying what I'm saying and he used to say Ya Rabbi Ummati Ya Rabbi Ummati Ya Allah forgive my Ummah Ya Allah forgive my Ummah and Ya Allah forgive my Ummah this was the only concern that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had my dear respected brothers and elders because of this do we not owe anything to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do we not owe anything to Rasulullah Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sense that do we not um, can we not send Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam salutations I'm going to mention this one hadith inshallah and it's such a beautiful hadith I came across and um, it's so easy for us to practice inshallah this hadith uh, I'm going to read the Arabic first, I'll translate it in Urdu and I'll translate it in English as well and then take this hadith away from here and bring this hadith into our lives meaning practice this hadith عن أبي الدرداء رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من صلى علي حين يصبح عشرا وحين يمسي عشرا أدركته شفاعة يوم القيامة رواه الطبراني the translation in Urdu now. Hajat Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala an farmateh ke Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ne farmaya jisne das martaba subah das martaba sham ke waqt mujh par durood beja usse roze qiyamat meri sifarish hasil hogi and uh, this is ye tabarani ne ise riwayat kiya hai. Now translation in English. Whoever, Hazrat Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala and says that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever sends durood upon me, salutations upon me, recites durood, sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, any type of durood on me in the morning and then ten times in the night, it is my duty to intercede for him on the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar. Isn't this what we need, guys? Isn't this what we need? Imagine Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on the day of judgment when, you know, people will forget themselves. Imagine Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam walking up to you and saying your name and holding your hand and saying to you, listen, don't worry about anything. I am going to intercede for you. So 10 times in the morning, durood, and 10 times at night time, inshallah, durood, before you go sleep. It's very easy. Now many people ask, what sort of durood can you read? You can read the shortest one. The one that I constantly read is Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi 
Sayyidina Muhammad. And then after 10 times I say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I read this constantly day and night. So you can read this or you can read the long, you can read the long one, whichever one you choose. You read this 10 times in the morning, 10 times at night. Just recently I heard someone reciting this one. Sallallahu Alaihi Nabiyyil Ummiyyi. Sallallahu Alaihi Nabiyyil Ummiyyi. Sallallahu Alaihi Nabiyyil Ummiyyi. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you choose to read this one, you can read this one. So my dear respected brothers and elders, mothers and sisters, pass this message on, share this message and recite Durood 10 times in the morning and recite Durood 10 times at night and on the Day of Judgment we will have nothing to worry about. Jazakallah.